Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable the new tablet optimized taskbar in Windows 11 version 25193. This is a feature that has been on and off in Windows 11 in the dev channel, but in this build in particular, we have it again as a hidden feature. Of course, this is not really recommended for users that have a Windows 11 operating system installed on a normal computer that is mostly optimized for tablet use, but you're going to see that this is quite an interesting feature in the tablet optimized taskbar looks actually nicer than the default taskbar in Windows 11 because it has rounded corners for the system tray and a few other animations that you don't encounter in the normal taskbar. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable it using Vive Tool. If you enjoy videos like these where I show you how to enable hidden features in Windows 11, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. Of course, first of all, we're going to download Vive Tool yet again. I saw some comments about some guys that said that I install Vive Tool every time I show you how to enable a hidden feature. Well, I do that because a lot of users that watch these videos watch them for the first time. So rather than linking up in the description a different video in which I show you how to use Vive Tool, I show it really fast how you do it in every video. So just go ahead and download Vive Tool from the link below from the article in the description. Just go on this link and download the latest version .zip. After that, just open the archive into WinRAR or Windows Explorer, whatever you're using. Again, a small explanation, Vive Tool is an app that allows users to enable hidden features in Windows 11. So after that, just click on Extract All to extract the files and browse the location to System32. We're going to have to extract these files into System32. Go into this PC, Local Disk C, Windows, and then scroll down to System32 and select the folder and then click on Extract. Of course, I'm going to have to replace the files in the destination because I already extracted it a dozen of times, but that's no problem because I do this in every single video. Now, what we have to do is to open up the CMD, open up the search box, type in here CMD, and then click on run as administrator. On user account control, of course, click on yes. And here in CMD, you're going to have to paste in this command, vive tool slash enable slash ID 26008832. You're going to have this command in the article below in the description. Basically, this will allow you to enable the new tablet optimized taskbar. Press enter. You should receive the message successfully set feature configuration, and then we can exit out of CMD and re restart our system for the changes to take effect. After the restart, we should already see that you have the new taskbar enabled, as you can see, with the rounded corners in the system tray and everything. But also, we're going to right click on the taskbar and then click on taskbar settings. And here under taskbar behaviors, you should have this setting enabled optimized taskbar for touch interactions when this device is used as a tablet. This actually looks really nice. And we can also enable automatically hide the taskbar if we want. And we will have uh, this animation. Of course, this is uh, by default in Windows 11, but I think that if you want to see how the new taskbar should look in Windows 11 because Microsoft promised that they will soon enough finish implementing the Windows 11 experience on the taskbar with the rounded corners and so on, you can enable this new feature using Vive Tool in the command that I showed you in this video. Of course, I'm going to show you some screenshots of what it would look on a touchscreen device. You would have a nice little bar at the bottom of the screen, of course, and some nice animations. When I'm hovering over Surge, I have this animation. I'm not really sure that that this animation is by default on the, the old taskbar, of course, you can let me know in the comments below. But overall, I think that this taskbar is a little nice touch to Windows 11. Hopefully, Microsoft won't remove it in the next build, or hopefully in the next build, they will introduce it as a default feature. So as I've said, you have all the details below in the article, you have the download link for Vive Tool, and also the command used in this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell active so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.